Khan, thank you very much for thank joining you, us. Oscar. And uh, I understand this is your first visit to uh, a NASCOM function or a or an IT event in India. Yes, of course. Yes. So, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the Bangladesh uh, IT industry and uh, how many people work there? What is the kind of work that goes on? You know, in Bangladesh, I'd say some facilities. You know, the hiring people is almost one third in Bangladesh. The space rental is also much cheaper than many other countries, even mm -hmm. India. Another thing is that we are providing a congenial environment by creating IT parks in Kaliakur and even in Jishore within 100 kilometer of uh, Calcutta's reach. Okay. And we have one submarine cable, another terrestrial cable coming from Kolka Calcutta, another one is from uh, a northern part entering into. So another thing is that we are spending 70 million on uh, empowerment of our IT personnel, both uh, for IT people and science graduate people. Every year, uh, around 6,000 IT graduates are coming out and 70,000 engineers, 70 to 80,000 engineers are coming out of uh, universities. Right, that's, that's, that's very interesting. So, uh, do you see more scope for uh, government and e-governance related work or are you also seeing equal private sector investment in this world? <coughs> Initially we are in fact creating uh, within the government more uh, spending and eating capability of IT solutions and IT infrastructure. So in uh, one district we have created all these services fully automated and in other 64 districts we are trying to adapt and adapt all this so that government can spend more money on IT so that private companies can come and do all these works. And, and what's the model? Do you have a model that you follow? Is there an example that you We have, at? in fact, different model. It's a homegrown model, I'd say. Okay. Because initially, we are connecting the small offices at the Upajala level. That means sub-district level. All offices are automated. Then secondly, this model is service-focused automation not automation focused, okay. service focused, only initially services were automated, then finally we, we are going for full automation and starting from the bottom and going to the top. Now we are working from the bottom as well as from the top because we already reached at the middle point that is district level from the bottom. Can you give us uh, any interesting examples of uh, either e-governance or areas where you've used information technology to solve problems which <coughs> affect the larger part of the country? In fact, uh, you know, land records, people can sitting anywhere in the world, even sitting in Bangladesh, they can get their uh, uh, valuable land records. Are you saying uh, all land records in all, Bangladesh? All land records they can get. Another are, thing, are digitized. Uh, digitized. Another thing is that if you look into the uh, space of, uh, uh, you know, mobile money, you see that uh, every uh, month, it's about 15% growth. Month to month growth is 15% mobile money uh, so what happens you know we are combining this uh, uh, money transfer electronically as well as service delivery so that any government fee or other fees can be delivered you know if you look into the sugar can farmers they can get their money uh, through mobile phone at the same time they know where to supply when to supply my sugar can so that the weight is not lost so that they can get their money in due course of time that's interesting. So, uh, you talked about land records being digitized and I, I would guess that that's a challenging task for any country, including uh, India. Right. Are, are you looking at any, any other big uh, task in that you fact, have for yourself? Uh, in one district, we have uh, digitized all the government services in one district, that is Jishur. And now we are learning from this district and we want to modify and use it in other districts. Right. <coughs> and are you, uh, do you have a target in terms of the kind of investment that you're trying to get into the IT services space? So uh, our target is now to, for big investment in Kaliakur High Tech Park and Jishore High Tech Park and another park is going to develop in Silet District because most of the people in the Silet, <coughs> Silet Districts are NRB, they're living in UK or USA. So the Silet is also our target. But initially we're starting with High Tech Park at uh, Kaliakur near Dhaka, very close to Dhaka. We are also creating some facilities in Janata Tower, that is also a software park within heart of the Dhaka. Right, and uh, any anything interesting that you're taking back from India in this visit that you've seen? That the interesting thing is that <coughs> <coughs> they're sharing ideas from many other countries. You know, last time we have uh, a, a digital world, 
I think we need to join our hands with NESCOM so that we can learn how we can uh, um, we can create an environment so that people from the other parts of the world come and share their knowledge with us in Dhaka. Right, Mr. Khan, thank you very much for speaking thank to you. us. Thank you.